Chateau Rain Vigno, uh, 2009. Um, this, in fact, is a, uh, a 2007 bottle, just to have the label in front of us. Um, Rain Vigno, if, uh, if you stop in the vineyard in the middle of Sauternes somewhere, and you ask, you see some uh, old fella pruning the vines, and you ask him, which do you think is the best potential vineyard after Ikem in Sauternes? And they invariably answer, Rain Vigno. Fantastic vineyard, um, making superlative wines. Uh, in the past, uh, the last 20 years, the wines have been maybe a little bit lighter than during the 50s, 60s, and 70s. Um, and therefore, you know, I think at a time when uh, Sauternes was kind of getting sweeter, uh, Rain Vigno felt that it had to go the other way and to stay a little bit on the drier side. Well, 1997 was a little bit of a turnaround. We saw much richer wine. Um, and then somehow the decision was taken uh, to get back to a more a lighter style. And here we are in 2009 with really a very rich style. This is uh, Rain Vigno as I imagine it used to be, but of course in a much more modern way. It has that lovely, modern, minty, uh, fresh, fragrant aroma, uh, beautiful botrytis. Um, and uh, the sales accordingly went very well. Um, I think everybody recognized that the tastings, the trade tastings in March and April of 2010, uh, that Rain Vigno was really back on track. And um, sales were good. The price was reasonable, even though the, it was a little bit of an increase, but it was probably too cheap before. Uh, so at £342, um, I think that was really a, a good deal uh, for Rain Vigno, and it sold very well.